Okay. Okay. Hi. We are back, guys. So one moment as we tell you the story because obviously nothing happened while we were gone. Yeah, we forgot to stream. <laughs> I blame everyone else because it's easier to do that. You're the GM. <laughs> as well as the only person running the Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone over the death of the Warp Forge? Warp, 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 what's it called? Warp Forge. Warp Forge, that's it. Okay. Is everyone over the death of it yet? Yeah. Right. Okay. okay, Jake, you can introduce your character now. Within the last three days, you've met this new character <clears throat> and you've invited him to the party. Because meta is the only way to add in new players. So I spent most of his time as a cat. You guys <laughs> met a cat. House cat. <laughs> it's very nice and very sweet to you. Kelly. You also notice that this cat has a turtle shell. That's weird. <laughs> Hello, new person. I'm a completely trustworthy person, and I'm totally not evil. Ha 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 ha. Dear cat turtle. You are very cute. <laughs> um, Kate's ovaries are just exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Do not trust the rook. We're on the same side. Mm -hmm. Just start a town, him. sacrifice the baby, and you're telling him to not trust the rook. I did all I had to do to please my deity and save my life. And save the rogue's life. <laughs> Alright then, fine. Me, 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 and the teddy bear are still pro, so both evil. Okay. So, while you were in town, tell me what you were doing, and then we'll be able to see how well you did it. You've um, been here for three days. I spent. I, w I went to go search for the uh, search the area where the cleric was for anything of note. Okay. Roll me a wisdom check. Uh, you find a golden coin on the ground. I swear to God, if this is the same fucking coin, the left coin. You pick up the coin. I wanna pick up the coin. It has the picture of a shamrock on one side. <laughs> that is a shamrock. You want the coin? I'll take the coin. You have the coin. You feel a giggling happen around you before it disappears. You have the coin. What do you oh, do? Oh, I am a jester. Yes. Yes, you are. <clears throat> also, while you're there, you rummage through the belongings of the doctor. And you find one medical kit. All right. Good for one d six health. At not not a combat. Wait two. Uh okay. How much? Uh, what ammunition does the gun use, and how much does it weigh? Uh, I think we discussed this before. Like three or four pounds. That's it. Uh, let's see. It's a little crude, considering she didn't crit that, so it's gonna be four. Okay. And it does one d six damage. Uh, you're gonna have to find gunpowder somewhere. Okay. Or you can ask the witch to make it, but she's already busy making the gun for the next three days. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. okay, Kate, go ahead. I would like to go to where the farmer's house was, and I want to search around for either more cockroach food or uh, transportation powder, really anything you left behind. You take the cockroach with you? Yes. When you arrive... Lafon, turn down the music! Okay. Sorry. <laughs> when you arrive, looking out upon the burnt home of the farmer, and the barn that's been burnt to the ground, and I'm still waiting for the music to cue, but it's not doing wait, anything. Wait, what music do you want? I'm not sure what you're going for. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! You don't remember. <laughs> well, that ruined it. Um, <clears throat> Kate, when you're there, you see the cockroach. He moves up to the barn that's been burnt down. Oh, yeah. Do you follow him? <laughs> yeah, poor Victor. Um, when he's over there, he's he's literally like searching through the rubble. Like, you know, he it's it's not a pretty sight. He's literally covered in muck. He's digging through all the digging through all of it. Oh my god! I hope he finds his brothers. Um, when he finds what remains of its brother or sister or whatever it is, he he moves it, and just below it, you start to hear the sounds of chirping. I want to investigate. Kate 
there's six baby cockroaches underneath <gasps> the dead one. Oh my god, I take them! <laughs> <laughs> I so in my mind right now, I'm like, blocking out that cockroaches are really ugly, and like, they're kittens in my mind. Sure. <laughs> Your mind is so fucking warped by Cthulhu that it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I would like to pick them up and uh, tell Victor it's all gonna be okay. We'll raise them as our own. The Minecraft cockroach, you're telling it's gonna be okay. You're literally hugging a block. Um, you're hugging a block, but the cockroaches he found are not blocks. Is, is, is he not unblocked yet? <laughs> um, you think it's gonna be a while. On the bright side, we can carry three people on him while he's blocked. At the end of the day, when the cleric rolled on him, he had to hold onto the cockroach at some point. So every time he held onto it, it increased the longevity of the effect. That's true. And you rode around on him for like a solid day, so... It's gonna be a while. Fine. Okay, so... Can I put these baby cockroaches... in my pack, or will they die in there? Uh, you think that's not the best place to put them? Um... Why do you just well, put them where would... the, like, big cockroach? Yeah, but will they follow him? Like, what's the deal here? They'll follow, but if you do that, you notice that the cockroach... Like, you'll notice that Wilson walks slower, so they can keep okay. up. Okay, it's Victor. Victor. Victor <laughs> walks slower, so they can keep up. <laughs> I'm calling I... my character Apollo when he's a Pella. <laughs> can I, um... Try and fashion, like, a basket kind of thing to put on the sides of Victor? Sure. Roll me, like, a wisdom check. Yes. Yes, you've made a basket to put the babies in. Okay, now, while I'm at the farmer's field, is there any other cockroach food that I can um, find? You're pretty sure that any food would have been burnt up immediately in the... Okay, well, what is cockroach food? Pretty much anything that's rotting. That's rotting? Okay, I want to go into town and I want to forage babies. around for a lot of, uh, for a lot of, like, fruits. Okay, completely out of character. If you're gonna look for things that are rotting, you might want to go check the witch's house. Mm. <laughs> or maybe all the dead people we just killed. I, I was just thinking, like, you know, the bar, the pubs, all their food. Oh. I'm not, not the lady I'm that lives in a fucking mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm gonna go and look around the area for any people. We killed them. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> okay. In this game, since apparently we have riding cockroaches, that would be considered a domesticated animal, wouldn't it? Yes. Yep. I can turn into any domesticated animal. You can totally turn into a cockroach. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Included in that. Don't is... kill my cockroach. <laughs> included in that is a giant ladybug. Like Futurama style, where you can fly. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see. There should also be like a snail, but admittedly, you've never seen one, so that's right. very that's not as common, especially in the middle of the desert. Yeah. But I guess you can. It just probably wouldn't be the most optimal thing to do. Can I ask it about my pet spiders? <laughs> I only have one, and I saved one? it. I don't know. It, ha it got killed when you died, I guess. But I really like Vaughn, roll me a charisma check, and please tell me you crit this thing. Yes. Yep. Vaughn, at, at some point within three days, your very intelligent spider instinctively finds its master after <laughs> five or so days of being gone from, uh, separated from you. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, you did kill the town, so there's no one to step yeah. on the spider. Ha. Ah, uh, the undead one. Yeah. Nice. I, yeah, I said that if you left, yeah, this, yeah. that spider would be dead. But since you right. slaughtered the town, there was no one to kill him. You mean the dead undead, dead undead, dead undead one? Yeah, now it's a well, new one. Uh, yeah, it's a new baby one, but I don't know how big it's going to be. Cause it, it presumably would have been eaten in that time. About the size of a quarter right now. Nice. And I want to give him the other one as a sign of good faith. I'll, <laughs> I'll pop your pets back. 
<laughs> it's just like good old time. Now feed them your blood. Uh, can I do that? Um, it won't really have any effect on them, but still, I, I just sent you guys a picture of what Victor looks like. It's like demon blood. You really just sent a picture of a picture of cockroach. Yeah. No. Look at. <laughs> yeah, but that's what she. That's what the. Uh, I, I was. I was thinking you're gonna send a picture of a kitten. And be like, this is what I see. My I was expecting like a kitten inside like a cockroach costume. Oh my god! Can you do that? It Hold probably, on, it I'm probably Googling. exists on Google somewhere. Okay, during the three days here as well, I'm going to have mm -hmm. uh, make sure I fed my spiders and got some food for them. That's totally fine. Okay. Uh. Eric, what were you doing again? Um, I was gonna go out and search for any people. Okay, roll me a wisdom check. Where are the rolls? Over there. Uh, you find some people who are all very afraid of everything and anything they see. I guess I do look rather weird, so I'm going to try and... You are a me. black Ewok who is evil. No, but you are evil. You could literally just take, kill them for the souls. I'm going to pull out my horn and try and convince them through song and dance to follow me. <laughs> Roll me a charisma check, and you're going to have to crit for something like this. <clears throat> you max crit. They follow you like the Pied Pepper. Um, I'm going to lead them off a cliff. Okay. <laughs> Roll me another constitution check. Oh, uh, charisma check, I mean. Um, you do lead a few of them off the cliff. The ones near the back realize that you're leading them off a cliff, and they run away. I'm going to force rip one of them yeah. and throw them off the cliff. Okay. Uh, You're a bad that's a strength thing. check. You succeed in pushing one more person off the cliff. Killed a total of ten people today. I'm going to go harvest their souls. Okay. And some of roll their me, blood. roll me a strength check. This is climbing. This is because you, you're going up and down the cliff. Okay, you get to the bottom. It took you quite a while, and you received ten human souls. Which is oh, value oh. of three normal so. I'm also going to harvest some of their meat. Harvest their meat. <laughs> and, <Really>? Yeah. <laughs> All You're right, disgusting. I, I, I guess I shall consume the souls. Okay. First all of all, of we're going we're gonna harvest the meat. That is a wisdom check. Oh, sure. Now there's music. <laughs> Um, you get, like, enough for one days of food. The rest of it seems to be squished or what something. I am not eating this. So you carved off ass cheeks. He probably I carved off ass cheeks. Anything I want now. <laughs> okay, well you have that, and you have ten human souls. Like I said, which is a value of three. Which is what we like to do with them. Because something tells me if you walk back with three souls, someone's gonna notice. I forgot. I tried to infuse them into my arrows before, right? That didn't work. Would you like to try again? Yeah, I'll try that. It still doesn't work. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> They're not expended, but you attempted it. I'm gonna... Could I try it with the cube of voodoo? No, 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 you don't... Oh, you still have that? Yeah, yeah. you picked it up. Um, you notice that the cube does, in fact, absorb the soul. Would you like to try All again? Right. I'm going to feed it as many souls as it'll take. It took in all of them. Okay. I'm going to examine the cube to see if it has any new attributes. It now weighs twice as much. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay, do you want um, to make the cockroach smaller? I'm just going to take my one meal of meat back to the barn then. Mm. Uh, as you put the cube into your bag, you hear it burp. Awkward. <laughs> okay. Because it's an inanimate object, it stays a cube, other other than when it's like actually transformed into something else. 
Ah, okay. So it will remain a cube because it is a physical object. It has no like natural form otherwise anyway. Oh yeah, well it was, I just have it called the cube of voodoo because it got touched by the priest glove. Yeah, I'm telling you now, it's whenever it's not in the form of something else, it stays in a cube. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Okay. So I would like to try and take a piece of LaFon's hair again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Roll me a deck check. Cause I need it. You can just give it to me if you want. I don't I wanna know what you need it for first. Don't worry you about succeeded it. in stealing his hair while him noticing. <clears throat> Thank you. There's no check because he didn't critically fail or pass. Yeah. Pretty. Hey, you have his hair. Excellent. I don't know what you're going to do with that. Is that a bond? Do you want to steal his hair? No. You, you know what I want to do with it. We've talked about this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to do that. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> You're all just backstabbing each other so often now. Don't say that. <laughs> You're all doing it. It's not even the not even like kidding around no. anymore. Every single one of you is backstabbing each other right I now. I'm calling it an insurance check right now. <laughs> okay, my character, who is walking around town as a cat for mm -hmm. no apparent reason, is gonna look for like staff or something. Okay. Roll me a wisdom check, and then we'll be wrapping it up and moving forward. You succeed in finding the... his staff. Did yes. I get the fruit? Uh, fruit, yeah. Okay. You you take your time, but you do find like rotting things here and there that the cockroach can eat. Awesome. I still have cockroach food though, so like I'm yeah. not over. You're good, good for a couple of days. Uh, Jake, roll me a d1000. Okay. Jake, on inspection of this staff, you realize that it resembles the uh, wep resembles a weapon you once seen. You would know nothing else unless you want to rub me an intelligence check. I you think. know nothing other than it looks familiar to you. I will just Attempt to activate it, and I'll swing at it like a nearby crate. Okay, go ahead. And a strength check. Yes. You crush the crate. the crate. Nothing else happens. Hmm. All right, and then I put it in my back. Or okay. I guess I walk around with it like a walking stick. Yes, it is. It'd be it'd be too uh, too long to fit in the back. Uh, mark it down as one weight. It's a relatively thin like wooden like staff. It does have like carvings drawn into it. It reminds you of something, but you can't seem to figure out what it is. Okay. You guys return to Witch's house. It's been three days. Lafon, she has the gun ready for you. Uh, Excellent. Jake, roll me an air intelligence check, and then we'll close out. Well, we're not going to end the game, but we'll finish up this three mm -hmm. days sitting in town thing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. It's it's pretty badass. Drop that image back in so the audience can see what it looks like. Is it still there or no? I was going to say, isn't it under the Warforge now? Or no, it's at the bottom. It's right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, the gun. There you go. Yeah, enlarge this a little bit. There you go, guys. That's what, he, that's what the witch just made. Nice, mine. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, you put my cockroach in. <laughs> you only just realized. Yeah, I haven't been looking. All the effort and like none of the recognition, guys. Sorry. You're the best DM ever. Yeah. Uh, Jake? Well, I'm the one who did it. Oh. <laughs> no, you did it. Right. Don't steal my credit. Uh, my credit. Jake, roll a D100. <laughs> okay. Lafon, <laughs> you have four ammo. Congratulations. Alright. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> so you can't even get a full fucking revolver Not clip. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently the witch didn't care to make you more than four bullets. <laughs> so I can, I can make like, you work. only have four in total? In total. <laughs> four, Not even four clips, just four bullets out of a possible 100. Okay, but I, I'm going to declare that they are all different styles of bullets, so they're just the sample set. There you go, that's fine. Go ahead and just say it out loud. T tell us what they are and he'll, he'll okay. get them. The, the first one is um, made with a lithium powder, so when you shoot it, the sparks that fly out of your gun will be purple. And if the DM wants to give some sort of special effect to that bullet, then fine. The other one is uh, copper powder, which means they'll be blue. Uh, boric acid, so they'll be green. And then one is, I guess, uh, it's magnesium, so it's white. And you don't notice anything particular about that, but I will tell the DM exactly what that will do. <laughs> okay, purple, blue, green, and white. Ah, oh, that is amazing. And these, this is just on-hand knowledge. Mm -hmm. Somebody likes chemistry. Uh, I like fire. Tomato, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tomato. Like, purple. all of those things that I just declared, I have in my room right now. <laughs> uh, so that's why... Okay, the green one definitely is going to deal necrotic damage. So that's something you don't want to hit a zombie with. That's a legitimately possible effect because boric acid is very often used to uh, like destroy tree stumps and such. Let's see, uh, what was the first two again? Uh, the, the other one's lithium powder. I would mm. believe that that would do like electric. Yeah, that would definitely be whatever. electric. So the first, uh, the purple one is electrical damage. Uh, the green one, Stephanie, aquatic. Uh, the last one's special, and you don't really know what it does. The white one? Yeah. Also, we're not going to tell him because I wanted to figure I wanted to use okay. it in like the worst possible well, situation. Well, what, what is the blue one, Dave? Uh, what was the blue one? Blue one is oh. copper. Copper? Mm. Just normal. It kind of sounds like a normal bullet, actually. Yeah. It's okay, cop copper bullet still just a copper bullet. I mean, you, you could theoristically give like rust poisoning or whatever, fucking tetanus, but that's, that's, that's about the best that could do. Well. Well, there you go. You have all that. <laughs> How long until my cockroach roaches age up? Uh, they're insects, so actually they will grow quite fast. So within... Oh, no, in-game? They'd be like half the size of the current cockroach you have. Okay, and it's already the... been three days, right? Three days. So they're actually pretty big right now. Also, you have something. a druid that can turn into a cockroach, so if you want help training them... Yes, Blank. that is technically true. You um, are your bonds still the same? <laughs> no, this character has developed no bonds with you guys. <laughs> All right, so um, we actually, we that. declared previously that you can transfer the bonds over to a new character. So you have yes, the but I can't one repay a debt to someone I've never met. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so you pretty much wiped out the town. If you guys really want to stick around. There's no one here that's going to stop you. Wait, Jack? No, I want to go. Yes? With the realization that the cockroaches are growing that quickly, I'm actually going to declare that I've been using my um, force grip to add human flesh to the cockroaches food supply for the babies. Okay. Uh, roll a stealth check that is dex. Fuck, my guy's like terrible at dex. Good. Uh, Kate, one one night when you're feeding the cockroaches, you find like a lump of questionable meat about a foot away from the food bowl, uh, and that the Ewoks are sort of just sitting there, like waving his hands, like a, a weirdo. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to the bard and say, "You touch my cockroaches one more goddamn time, and have them eat you." She's got a mobile instinct kicking in. <laughs> can I can I can I hit him? Yeah, you can. If you want to roll the hit, that will deal damage. 
Um, <laughs> deal damage if you want. Um, was it real or temporary? It's temporary damage. Okay. Ewok, your face stings quite a bit. And I'm gonna tell him, you do that one more time, I'm gonna go for the kill with my axe. <laughs> do it again and I'll cut ya. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Ewok will laugh and run off. <laughs> you're evil, not... like. You're not somehow morbidly insane. You're evil. There's a difference. <laughs> you're, like, you're like maniacal. Like, the, yeah. only I, the only reason I laugh maniacally is because I'm a fucking jester as well. <laughs> you're also literally Shaco. Like, they're just, like, we can make the argument that you're not, technically. Yeah. But no matter what we do, you're a demonic clown from hell in a clown suit with a <laughs> glowing sword. <laughs> I want to sell that sword the second I get it, because I can't use it for stealth. I would like to um, talk to the druid and tell him that I'm going to be here for him if he needs it, and try and create a bond with him. Okay. And tell him he can have one of my cockroaches. One. Just okay. okay. Kate, there's three male and one female. I, I don't need six. a cockroach. <laughs> huh? You said there were six baby cockroaches. Oh, okay. So there's four male, uh, two, two female. Okay. I'll have to think of names for them. <laughs> There's gonna be names, okay. Uh, Victor 1 and Victor 2. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I take naming very seriously. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, you can totally name them. I'm, I'm going to tell the rogue that one of the cockroaches will be named Kevin, probably. Why are you gonna tell me that? I don't know. It's That's true. Very odd statement. That's true. Um, I like to name things, Kevin. It's the thing I like to do. In real life. Okay. Alright. So yeah, we're ready to move on, guys. Totally. I'm not just sitting here doing something to be funny. <laughs> I'd like to move on, though. Okay. So, you guys head out. Same way the witch led you out before. No, I'd like to go on the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also, while training with her and the cockroaches, I'm going to be playing with my horned beetle. Get him. I don't know. Also involved. Your horned beetle is very <laughs> well trained. Socializing him. <laughs> and, okay, so basically what happens is if he takes any damage, he goes from being gold to white. And then when he's in the white form, He's literally as fragile as the gl glass figurine. Um, how much life do each of my cockroaches have? Um, you can roll for it, or we can declare that they have three. Okay, because my big one is 20. And they are still, like, a couple days old. Okay, what do I roll for it? A d6. <laughs> mm -hmm. You stick with three? No, <laughs> that's oh. the that's the point of either rolling or pick, taking what you okay, get. Okay, fine. Two it is. So they all have two. <laughs> okay, Kate, Jeff, all, you control all six of them if you want to name them each individually. Yeah, I'm doing it. The girls are named Alice and Shirley. Mm -hmm. The boys are Dexter, Kevin, Mo, and George. Right. Okay, so... You guys been here for about three days. Backup food, water, provisions. You guys are decked out. Everyone mark down that you have five rations. Mark it down as five weight. If you can't carry it, remove one one, one ration per one weight. I literally have a thing that says anytime it says to remove a ration, you can ignore it. <laughs> then you don't need rations if you don't want it. Okay, I'm not but even You can take it out. if you want to feed your pet. Can I give it which to you? Probably does I, consume you food. I bet you can't carry anything. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll take a ration then. Five rations? How many did you say? Five. Can I put and some I on the cockroach? And I still have sausage and eggs, eh? Yes, you still have sausage and eggs. That's five pounds, <laughs> five rations? Mm-hmm. And sausage and eggs are one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I have. Uh, can I put the rest of mine on the cockroach because I can't carry anything else? Oh, yeah. Either sure. you carry or you're not, because the cockroach is going to be carrying food for eight. Or seven. Oh, okay, never mind, there's no point then. 
I'll just leave mine behind, except for the food I got for my uh, spiders. Okay, well, really, your your spiders eat so little food from the cockroaches that they don't even notice. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> the, um, how much weight can the cockroach carry? Did we determine that? Uh, we determined that it's an infinite amount, as long as you can fit it on there. Okay. Because right now he's carrying all the food for like a fairly long time. Yeah. And, um... We should become fucking farmers. Food off. Right? We've got like an entire fucking supply here. <laughs> yeah, Let's see, we've, we've got food. a cat, we've got a beetle, cockroaches, and I got a spider. cockroaches can technically carry not a lot, but at least like five pounds each. So you, you're pretty well set. Okay. You guys set out. You look out upon across the desert, and you see in the distance the train that you saw when you first arrived in this town before all this shit went down. You want to take the train, or you want to keep moving? Is it still going really fast, or can we jump on it? It has train? definitely slowed down. I'd like to jump on the train. Wait, can my cockroach just jump? Probably on the train? not jump onto the train. <laughs> but I don't want to take the train. Okay. You watch as the train goes by. You see that there are actually passengers on the train. I'm gonna wave. Okay, roll D1000. <laughs> really? 1044. <gasps> uh, Rogue. You see someone familiar on the train as it zooms past. You see a glint of silver hair flapping in the wind. <gasps> silver hair. Is it and the now it's gone. It's the cleric! Alright. <laughs> it might well, be. You, you don't this. know. You guys didn't take the train. Okay. That's it. Where would you like to go? You're literally in the middle of the desert at this point. You know uh, that the, the exit you really originally went to is far, far to the north. Well, let's head south and hope we can find another door then that leads to the next level. Yeah, let's go south. Yeah. You guys head south. Guys, roll me a survival check. I mean, a wisdom check. Someone needs to pass. That is a technically pass. You make it through the day. You're doing pretty well right now. Pretty hot, but everyone's doing okay. They have food, they have rations. No one's really, like, stressing themselves out right now. Uh, Kate, roll me a D1000. It's like high rolls and the low rolls, never mind. Right. 105. Yeah, I'm in the middle today. <clears throat> okay. Kate, you walk across you walk across the sand and you come across what seems to be a pool of glass with footprints in it. This this is literally the spot where the Warforge was when you first saw him here in the desert. Oh dear, that's so sad. It's a pool of glass, so what did he take a piss? He thought he was taking the piss. <laughs> That would definitely stand the reason, because none of the, none of the, none of the, nothing else here is made of glass other than this one spot. And then he uh, walked through his own piss. <laughs> why? Why not? <laughs> his his oh. piss is just like liquid lava. I would I would like to, uh, well, I guess inspect it further. Um, it literally looks like a foot impression of him as he walks through this melted glass. Can I look in the melted glass and see a reflection of myself yet? Yes, there is actually a reflection of yourself in it. Okay, roll me a charisma like? check. Look average. How's my look skin average. doing? <laughs> roll me in that charisma check. Very tan. Very nice. Okay, so it's not falling off anymore? Uh, your skin's still falling off. There's literally <laughs> no way to stop that. Wait, it's got a nice tan. But you have a nice tan before it falls off. Okay, and I'd like to, uh, again, pray to Cthulhu and see how the Warforged dude is doing. Because in my mind, there's no other heaven, right? Pretty much. Roll it. 
Charisma? Uh, no, not Charisma. It is Wisdom for you. Okay, you do reach Cthulhu. He informed you that he is not in this realm. <gasps> that what? doesn't mean he's alive. That means he's not in hell. No, I know. Okay, I'm gonna thank Cthulhu. Move on with my day again. <laughs> Say that, but technically, you, as far as you're concerned, that means he is in hell. Because oh. Lafon's been to, like, Cthulhu hell, and he came out pretty, pretty okay. Yeah. Uh, can I ask Cthulhu if he needs me to do anything? He says he's still waiting on those five souls from before, but since your friends... I gave him ten souls! All right. You fifteen. fifteen total. Yeah, fifteen total. Oh, <gasps> I thought... Oh, okay. Damn it! I'll get those to you. It's my bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, go he goes back to doing whatever he was doing before. Which is probably sitting on the couch watching TV. There's nothing else going on. Watching the aquarium. Just, 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 just occasionally, this one person contacts him, and he's just like, "Oh, for God's sake, Coronation <laughs> Street just came on. Now I'm being called." Right, he's sitting down to dinner, like, "God damn it, fucking telemarketers!" <laughs> Is there anything well, in good. this glass pool that I need to be worried about, or? Okay. Uh, reason? Can roll me a check if you want. I kind of do. Wisdom or charisma? Yes. Wisdom. Okay, you can ask me one question about this. Is this special in some way? You feel it is special in some way. I'm gonna try and harvest the glass and take it. You have the grass impression of the guy's foot. Congratulations. Thanks. It weighs five pounds. Okay. Okay, it's in your cage. There you go. Okay. You guys keep moving through the desert. Roll me contracts, everyone. Hmm. Pass. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> it's also right, a pass. Try to make my thing go big. That's not a pass. Well, my black fur doesn't help, probably. Really does. And of course. <laughs> and I'm currently... I've got 16. Of, like, a beach turtle-looking thing. Not, mm. my, not my awesome turtle, but, like, a turtle that is okay with sand. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's fine. Uh, Bard and, uh, Rogue here. Roll me another con check, and if you fail, you're taking negatives to all your sets. Okay, you're passing, you're passing. You guys are exhausted, you need water right now, so expand the one ration, both of you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's it, you keep moving. Also, my beetle's name is Cake. His name is now Cake. <laughs> Someone roll me a D1000, as you continue through the desert. In hopes of finding another door. Three twenty one. Isn't it the second time I've rolled three twenty one today? Technically, no, it, it is. was three twenty two. Uh, let's see, three twenty two. Yeah, this one's three twenty one. Yeah, this no, this is not the same. You rolled uh something else last time. Okay. Yeah, but my last D one thousand was three twenty two. Do you guys eventually keep moving? Uh, you find. As you travel, that the that the sand begins to slope downward. The trek is easier, and now you're in this shade of the mound of sand behind you. It's a fair travel, and eventually you find yourself standing at the edge of an oasis. Roll me uh, a D1000. Who? Anyone. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I rolled the last one. <laughs> okay. What do you guys do? Yeah. It's the rest of this, like the only spot you've seen so far that has any water or any relative, relative comfort. I suggest we be stuck on the rations we exhausted. Okay. You guys can get back one ration for those who expend it. Okay. I'm going to splash into the water and turn into a sea snake. <laughs> you splash into the water. Roll me a wisdom check. You have three questions. What do you want to ask? Is there anything living in this water, other than, like... Yes. Okay. Let's see more questions. Is whatever is in this lake a threat to me? Yes. You have one more question. How do I kill it? 
by not being in its mouth. And slowly you realize that this oasis, suddenly in the middle of the desert where it has no water been before, turns out to be a gigantic mouth. Well, that is unfortunate. <laughs> I gave you a check. I was going to have you guys roll a check. I'm surprised that no one else even thought to do it. And then you jump in, and then you literally ask three questions that not relating to what's the most danger here. Right. Um, but yes, it's literally a giant mouth. What actually comes out of the water is a tentacle with a small mouth on it. Uh, but all around you, it is the rest of its body. All right. Turtle form. <laughs> okay. Let's... Um, I'd like to... Sorry. Let's go ahead and remove everyone from the circle, because the circle is where the mouth is. <laughs> Let's be always peasants all the way. Oops, I moved the red line. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so only one person is in the middle of the mouth, which is you. And the cockroach. Kate, you can move the cockroaches wherever you like. All I'm right. pretty sure you don't want them to be in the middle of combat. Oh my god, there's so many of them. You can AoE yeah. select. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jake, you get one action, which I think you use to become yes. turtle form. I went full on turtle form and I rolled at 11, so I have 12 fucking armor right now. You have 12 Oops. armor. Congratulations. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I can't I can't move the big cockroach. Oh, sorry. Uh, you should be able to move it now. Yeah. Here. Mama. Okay. Also, my beetle is hanging out with your cockroaches. That's okay. cool. Everyone cool. roll deck check. And that's going to be an issue. We're literally fighting a gigantic worm. I just fucking crit my decks. Hell yeah. Come on. Come <laughs> on. Me too. What? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Very well. This thing was fucking asleep. <laughs> it seems <laughs> like it. One sec. Get ready for this. We all fucking crit So the who deck. went first? Awesome. Um, Fine. Everyone but the bard goes first. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then one for the worm. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't even, we don't even really need numbers for this. So, what appears out of the ground looks like an eye on the end of a tentacle. Actually, I said mouth, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, mouth. It just comes right out of the water. Because you're literally swimming in its spit. Turtle, it is your turn. I'm gonna turtle chomp that fucking tentacle off. Damn. Okay. Uh, yes, you succeed. Do your damage. Six. I rolled twice, right? Because. Uh, yes, you can deal crit double damage. Yeah, you double damage. Dealt quite a bit of damage to the small little mouth. That's my <laughs> highest. That's three crits right there. <laughs> Ooh, that's fucking ridiculous. Okay. Eight, your turn. Um, so this is like in the circles in the water, right? This, yeah, the circle is the mouth of the beast. Okay, so I can move four. Mm -hmm. That's as close as I can get, so. Uh -huh. I could always cast <clears throat> Exterminatus. Oh, that's true. I cast Exterminatus. Cast Exterminatus, congratulations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rogue, your turn. Uh, so, is it literally, is it actually water or not? Why it is, is uh... not water. Oh, okay, it's but, not water? Um, so, can I, would I be able to shoot my electric bullet into its spit? You can. can. Uh, do more damage or not. You think it will probably shock someone who's in the water? Yeah, maybe you shouldn't do that. What about my necrotic bullet? What will that do? Will I actually be able to hit it? If you hit it. Alright. Well guys, guess what I'm doing. Okay, roll hit. Crit. Critically succeed, deal double damage then. So that's 13. Okay. That is 13 more on top of 12, that's 25. Um, you think it's pretty much on its last leg. Eric, where do you go? 
What's an necrotic bullet do then? <clears throat> that do uh, that's acid. It's literally okay. gonna, it's gonna take additional damage later on. And okay. It does have some negative effects. Um, I'm gonna use the attack buff song on the turtle. Okay. Well, it, you gain one experience. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> okay. Large spikes come out from four sides and hits the, the part who just happened to be right there. <laughs> that's not, that's not, you can roll me a deck check. A pass is half damage. You take no damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. That's, so that's this fight, it. in which yeah. we should have been totally surprised, is actually going in our favor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, one of you might die if you don't get out of there. Two, if Kate doesn't get out of there either. <laughs> oh, right. The mouth gets a shot at... About to attack you, Jake. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. This is what I live for. <laughs> I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> Take probably no damage. Nope. It almost <laughs> don't have damage to you. Almost. <laughs> There's no way it was ever gonna hurt you. Yeah, you have 12 armor. This thing literally can't hurt me if all it rolls is 2d6. Yeah. <laughs> the small mouth only deals 2d6. What about okay. the rest of the mouth? Yeah, for, when it dies, we're gonna close its mouth or something, so you probably want to get out of there. <laughs> okay. Uh... Your turn, Jake. What do you do? I'm going to swim. One... You're going to move one square. Oh, right. I better try and get out of there now. <laughs> uh, you can attack first. If you want to do that, you can. You can. Yeah, I, I will. Give him a chomp. Okay. Go with a chomp, I will. Do your damage. You think it's literally like the wind would kill it right now. Kate, your turn. It's my poison not you gonna hurt okay, it. I'm gonna stab this. It has to be on your turn. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna hack and slash this tentacle thing. Mm hmm. With my axe. Mm hmm. And I miss. Great. Uh, awesome. You gain one experience. I'm gonna move out of that circle. You there. feel like the axe is a little slippery this time. Yeah, of course. You, it you is. need to change that grip. You know? Yep. Right. Changed. And I move. Yes. Bro, go ahead. Oh, yeah. It occurs to you that maybe the maybe the uh, druid needs some help to get out of there. All right. Uh, I'm not particularly that strong. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm a very large turtle. Like I don't really know how I'm, you guys. He's like a car-sized turtle, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. Is that witch there. still with us? No, she's stay stuck, stuck in the town. She's Probably okay. gonna be working on like zombies or necromancy right now. Okay. There are there is a sudden abundance of dead bodies right now. I wonder what that could possibly be from. Uh, as my poison, that you're gonna finish it off this turn, then. Do you think so? I reckon it will. I don't actually know how much damage the poison then does. You're welcome to you think that. <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> to think what you want. Right. All right. I'm going to move over here, so if the tall can get close enough, I'll reach out to him. Okay, so you're holding action until he moves closer. Yeah. Okay. Eric, your turn. Um, I'm going to move over to here, and I'm going to try and force grip the turtle and pull him. Okay. Strength check. Oh. <laughs> um, roll me a d10. If you roll a 1, you've still, you choke the turtle, but you didn't move him. Uh, <laughs> d10. You don't want, you don't want a 1, 2, or 3. Alright, you're fine. Um, Jake, you feel him trying to, like, grab onto you, but he's, his, his force grip doesn't seem to, his, his finger just slippery. You know, he's, he's been force gripping a lot of weird things lately. <laughs> so he's well. <laughs> basically like smacking my ass trying to get me to move. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, they close in. They're not going to hit Jake. Because he just happens to be outside the range. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, then you guys see additional teeth here, 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 and here. You gotta get out of there. Well, see, the thing is, by the time this thing got through my armor, I'll have chewed through the side of its mouth anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Turtle Cat, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I attack this tooth thing here? Yes, you can. Awesome. Then I'm going to take a chomp at it on my way by. Deal your damage. <laughs> uh, you broke it. Okay, and then I'm going to take my, my extra step. <laughs> uh, Kate, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to move to here. Uh -huh. And I'm going to hack and slash at this weird thing here. Uh -huh. With my axe. Ten. Crit. A crit? Yes. You heal none and, and, because and, it's a tooth. Yeah, I don't need to heal, but I also deal an extra 1d4. Do you... The, uh, where's the d4 coming from? I declared exterminatus on it. Right. Okay. Is that 2d4? I, I don't know. <laughs> if you yeah, want it to be. <laughs> Pretty sure it's 2d4. Yeah, uh, you're right, it is. Now, do I do two D fours because I critted? Uh, no, it's two D four because it's exterminized. It's not affected by your crits. Okay. So you got a total extra five damage. Uh, you obliterated that tooth. Like chunks of tooth lying on the floor. Yeah, there is. Okay, this guy needs a dentist for like two days. <laughs> Rogue, your turn. Well, I guess I'm just going to... Is there anything, like... Is there actually anything at the side I can stab into, or can I only stab into its, like, bottom mouth? Um, there seems to be a lip right where you're standing. Well, I'm gonna stab, stab into that, and then, in the hopes that I can probably harvest some kind of liquid from it. Okay, well... I was gonna say, we should probably keep some of this saliva. Damn! Ten damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're telling d ten damage to this creature. I don't think I'll be able to make some kind of poison from it. Well, this guy was swimming in it. If it was poisonous, he'd be dead right now. Eric? Yeah, I know, but his blood could be different. Oh, we don't know, man. Um, I'm going to... I don't know if it would be poisonous, but it might be acidic. That's fine, I'm I can gonna... use that to more bullets. I'm gonna examine any of the tooth shards that are out in the water for sword-like qualities. Okay, roll me a wisdom check. Actually, it should have been an intelligence, but I'll take the roll because I told you to do wisdom. So, you believe that you probably could use it for a weapon very easily, but it'd be it would have to be crafted in the same way you would craft a wooden sword. You know, it's a tooth. It's not like steel, so it would take some time. But you'd probably definitely make it into a, a usable weapon. I am gonna force grip that piece then. Okay, you're gonna grip the one that's floating in there. Yeah, the the, the one and that not save the turtle turtles. Well, it looks like the turtle's good. Okay, good. Well, okay. you check strength. Mm. I don't know actually. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna grab the turtle. Fuck it. <laughs> Grabbing the turtle. Grab a turtle. Wow! You dealt damage to your turtle, rolled your damage. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you saw it This joking. bypasses armor because this is choking you, not punching you in your chest. Okay. Take five. However, I have two stacks of balance, so I'll be fine. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Jake. Yes. It lifts from the ground. You are now suspended in the air, and now I need to change the image. So, one moment, guys. Will I make a quick doodle on the next page? Do, do I get XP for trying to grab the turtle? Yes. Yes, you do.
How tall in the air are we, uh, thinking here? Uh, you'll see in a moment. Okay, so. Everyone move into one area, and I'm going to copy and paste you over to the next side. Don't forget my cockroaches. <laughs> I doubt that you want your cockroach in battle. I might need it. What if I need to call to it? Then I will have someone else do that. Alright. I'll just copy the big one. That's all I need. Copy and paste. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, it <laughs> totally should be. Doesn't help that the music literally just stopped. Alright, well, I literally threw it last we threw it together just now. So there you go guys. That's what you're looking at. I kind of see anything, Captain. Ah, oh, come it on. It's like a penis. It's, it's the cockroach from Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom out, Leifon. Zoom out. It's definitely there. If they can see it, you can see it too. Yeah, I can see it. I can't see anything. Oh, so... I think you have to reload. Yeah. Oh. Where, where's the tortoise in this whole thing? Uh, Taurus should be like right there in his mouth. As it gets one shot to at attack the Taurus. Should definitely hit the Taurus. Right. Totally hit the Taurus. What to do? No <laughs> damage. Fucking A. I just. <laughs> 2d12 and you crit fail the damage. I know, wow. right? Like, damn. damn. Okay, Jake, you fall here, as it apparently did not manage to bite down hard enough on your massive turtle shell. <laughs> this thing is huge. <laughs> it literally just shot out of the ground. Like that. Do whatever you want to do, guys. You're still in turn order, so it is Jake's turn. Uh, I'm gonna turn around and be like, bring it on, you giant fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I highly doubt that I can trample this thing, so <laughs> really out of options in turtle yeah, form. It definitely is bigger. Than you. Like, you're gonna, whatever you want to do, go ahead. But it's a lot bigger I'm gonna, than you. I'm gonna taunt it. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, you charisma check. Wow, I, I have bad charisma. <laughs> um, you don't think this blind creature interpreted your taunt as any swarm or threat? Okay. There you go. That's what essentially you're fighting right now. All right. Okay, am I actually four squares from it or not? Um, uh, you are not was, four squares from it. I was pretty close to it when it came up. Yeah, it knocked everyone back. Okay, well, I'm gonna go up four squares. Sorry. Can I go through Bard here? Yes, you can. If nothing else, it's not like Exterminatus cancelled. You can, it's still on it. I know. I just now I gotta like take a long time to walk to it. Well, what else can you do other than that? Do you have a few magic spells you could cast? I guess I can cast Setup Strike. To everybody, but no, I have to that requires a hit. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. Can I lead the charge? I will let you lead the charge in this situation. You will? Yes. 
So you lead the charge. Guys, you all have plus one for your next roll. Mm-hmm. Okay. Rob, oh, your turn. Alright. I'm gonna move over here. I'm going to load the standard bullet into my gun. I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. You have no standard bullets. Fun. You the have no standard cover. bullets. I have the... Oh, copper the copper one. one? Yeah. Okay. You shoot. Go ahead. Crit. You oh, think yeah, you yeah. hit it in the eye or the testicles? So you're not totally sure which side's the front, which one side, which side's the back. All right. And you dealt how much just now? Eight. Eight. Yeah, I did for call. You're pretty sure you dealt very little to him. Mm-hmm. Eric, go ahead. You guys actually beat this thing. I'll be, I'll be surprised. Thanks. <laughs> um, I guess if no one's injured, I'll do my attack buff on Kate. Oh no! Don't do that on me. What? I I still have another turn to walk up to it. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before she reaches. Oh. Um. I do it to Jake. Yeah, to I guess. Hold we'll, we'll then. To the turtle. Okay, you gave it to the turtle. Now it is the worm's turn. And for its turn, it begins to shake around furiously. Everyone takes... One damage, regardless of armor. Right. Regardless of armor? Regardless of armor. He has to do that in order to do any damage to me. I have 12 armor. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's the whole thing where like the worm is literally shaking around and causing an earthquake. You guys take damage just from that the character is bouncing up and down fiercely, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, so you notice that the skin on your damage. feet have fallen off. Do I see metal? You see metal. You have metal yeah. toes now. Kind of cool looking. Kick him in the face. <laughs> I need a ranged weapon. I'm gonna look for one of those. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Jake. Uh, I'm gonna do my typical turtle chomp on him. Okay. I'll let you. Uh, you succeed in hitting. Okay. Um, I have bardic whatever. Is that just for attack or is that for damage too? Uh, you mean the plus one for it? That is whatever. for attacking, not damage. Okay. Well, no, he got the bard. He got extra damage from the bard. Oh, from the bard? Yeah, that's added to damage. Okay. Good because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you did seven damage to it. Yay. You feel like you dealt seven damage to it. Eight. It's still pretty far away from you. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm almost there. Almost. When you were like the same sort of like distance as the torch, you'd be able to hit it from there as well. Tor the torch is actually supposed to be in his mouth. I wanted to move it so he wasn't like on top of it. Okay. So technically, the torch is physically inside the mouth. Okay, bro. Unless someone wants to pull the torch out, but immediately the torch is. Just... Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I was gonna say that's that's gonna be difficult. Um, I was gonna call to my cockroach and grab the 20 feet of rope that it had. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna try and swing that at the bard and pull him out. Uh, sure, I'll let you do that. Also, the bard's to your left. I was gonna say, uh, where about the, bard. <laughs> the Yeah, sure, I'll let you do it. Go ahead. Uh, that is a deck check. You succeed. Roll me a strength check to pull it out of the mouth. Damn! Yank. Way to go. Um, yeah. You weren't Take there damage. before, but you are right there now. Alright, sweet. <laughs> uh, Rogue, go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna load the white bullet and shoot it. Okay. <laughs> Watch me miss. Not even a crit. The hit. Four damage. Why don't you explain what it does, Jake? Magnesium, it burns incredibly hot and incredibly bright. 
So I don't awesome. know if you want to do like extra radiant damage or whatever. That's up to the DM here. Unfortunately, it has no eyes, so that's not going to do much to it. I'm going to have you deal three more, three times more damage. Three times. So three more. on top. Uh, so on top of the damage the buff gave me, that's eight. That's eight, sixteen, twenty-four damage. <laughs> so how much is that total? Twenty what? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You dealt twenty-four damage in one shot. Mm -hmm. I also think that you're probably not going to get too many of those anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> those are going to be uncommon. Unless, unless I find magnesium. Yeah. You got to make it yourself. But mm -hmm. then again, doing how much damage you still did, do you really want to go around messing with that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Don't forget, you can still die, man. Mm -hmm. I know. Eric, it's your turn. You are in the safest position, letting them do all the fighting. Um, you guys got what we expect from the bard. <laughs> you can attack buff me now, I think I can reach it. Yeah, I'm gonna attack buff the rogue, I guess. Totally can. <laughs> hey, um, you gained one experience, because it didn't work. Yep, cool. Okay. It is now the worm's turn. He's going to grab someone and put them in his mouth. And hope it should definitely hit. I hope it's me. Now we're gonna roll. D3. One is for the rogue, three is for Kate. Come on. <laughs> it's the tortoise again. <laughs> ah! It's just like fucking turtle. Right, uh, it's gonna okay. taste for me in its mouth now. Uh, it's gonna deal its damage, which is D12s. It dealt a whole 13 minus your armor. <laughs> it dealt one damage. I know! <laughs> it, it literally could have taken anyone else and dealt so much damage. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Whose turn is it now? Mine. Is this close enough to Actually, reach no, it? No, it's a uh, turtle cat. And then it's your turn. Oh, you're right. Okay. Okay, um... Yes, Kate, I will let you attack and get that close. Okay. Balance is one of my advanced moves. Am I allowed to use that to heal myself while still a turtle? Uh, yes, you can use it while as a turtle. Okay. You're gonna let heal me, yourself one? Let me double check that. Uh, let's see... Balance? Or wait, that's... No, you have to be human for that. Balance? You have to be in yeah, human balance. form. Because it has, requires you to be human, touch someone, and channel this, channel your magic. You can't do that okay. in your beast form. Well, then... I'm it's, gonna chomp yeah. the motherfucker. It'll be good for when you, uh... When you take a rest. You can right, heal other right. parties, too. Yes. In the meantime... Nom. I failed. <laughs> you gained experience. one experience. Uh, you bite down on its tongue, and... It, Tastes like the most foulest thing you've ever eaten. Times three. Okay. Next, Kate. Go ahead, you can hit it now. Okay. Cool. Take my axe. Created it. Damn. Okay, and... Kate, tell me what you do as you cut into this giant worm. Hold on, I'm not done yet. 2d4, like right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I cut into its chin, I think it is, or whatever that bottom part is. Mm -hmm. And I just, with my axe, and I grab the, like, you know, the hook on the axe? And mm -hmm. grab that in, get it as far deep as I can, and pull it down. Okay. You cut a massive gash into the side of the beast's face. That's 25 damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. So I guess that I am full health now. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, you only took I... one damage so far, haven't you? Yeah. Can I use my rope again to try and get that sky out, or am I done with my turn? No, you're done with your turn. Also, I like this image better. Right. Oh my god, that's so big. Yeah. 
Okay, Rogue, go ahead. All right, I'm it's go still technically alive. Uh, I'm just gonna straight up stab it with my um, unicorn shore sword. Crit. Damn, guys. What the fuck? Only seven damage, crits? though. <laughs> just fucking up. Okay. Hard. Go ahead. This thing is like on the last of glass of his legs. You should shoot an arrow at it and take the soul. <laughs> he might. He... Did we get anyone wounded? No. Um, I'm missing seven health, but I'm still at nineteen. You're pretty so. sure no one here is in any danger of being killed. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna heal the turtle up. Because why not? Okay, turtle, you heal one. Good best, job, bot. Best, best heal ever. Hey, he, he took one damage earlier. You healed the damage he took. Yeah. The problem is, is, being in this thing's mouth, I can't really hear that well, so I only got a little bit of healing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jake, you are thrown out as this thing attempts to burrow back into the ground. Guys, you get one more shot at it. Everyone roll a hit. As either you kill it now or it gets away. I'm still in its mouth, though. It, it threw you out for its turn, and then it flees. Oh. Only three damage. Three no, damage. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Jake, you, you kill it. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to... Well, I guess I'm going to take its soul first. I'm going to go for an adaptation. Actually, no, hold up. See... Technically, the rogue <laughs> killed it, sorry. <laughs> I, I was looking at the damage and I thought he had four. He actually has two. So the rogue, you nice. get it. Uh, Just because I rolled last. <laughs> unfortunately, that's kind of like roll, whoever goes first goes first. Yep. Well, I'm going to do exactly what he was going to do and I'm going to eat it. What do you want? I'm look for an adaptation. Go ahead. You realize if you roll poorly, this could go so wrong. Seven. Okay. It's a pass. Uh. Well, no matter what, no matter how tall you are now, you are now six foot three. <laughs> nice. Uh, you're taller, and you think you've gone up in strength by one. As you literally just saw him shoot up like three, maybe two and a half. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there? I want to try and. Um, it's my sword. I'm assuming my sword isn't deep enough to try and cut into its stomach to take some of its stomach acid. Um, probably not. All right, I'm just gonna. You, you might end up spending quite a while going through this thing's mouth if you want to do that. Because uh, according to the second image, it's gonna be a long trip. <laughs> All right. Well, in which case, I'm just gonna cut off its tongue then that it used to hurt the turtle before. Okay. I'm taking that. I was gonna say the one that I fucking chomped on. <laughs> yep. Okay. Mark down that you have a tentacle rod. Oh god. I'm a shot way. I'm literally checking right now. Then a window with the tentacle rod in the in the uh, the DM guide is? I don't have a DM guide for this game. I don't own DM guides because, like, I never want to do that. <laughs> I think I have oh, it. It's always Kate. saved my pictures. Kate has them. They're just up there. Oh, okay. I can get them. One sec. I'm looking for it right now. D&D folder? Yep. Dungeon World? Yep. Yeah, so you can find the... Uh, tentacle rod. Okay, so if not, I'm gonna in... use the one out of uh, somewhere else. Yeah, there, I, mean, I know there's one in five in a uh, five E. That's what I just found right now. Hit Control F Tentacle Space Rod. Okay, so while still in turtle form, because I don't want to get this saliva all over my human self, I'm gonna like dig my way into the sand and dry myself off. <laughs> You're totally fine after that. 
Um, it didn't find Tentacle Rock. But last time I used it, it didn't really work either, so... Weird. Okay, I'll use the one in the DM guide. How do you spell Tentacle? <laughs> T-E-N-T-A-C-L-E. Well, that's probably why. Okay. Tentacles. <laughs> this this, 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 this music I'm suits just gonna you guys to right find this. So, Lifon, yeah. here's what you just got. The tentacle rod. Made by the drow, this rod is a magical weapon that ends in three rubbery tentacles. While holding the rod, you can cause an action to direct each tentacle to attack a creature within 15 feet of you. Each tentacle makes a melee a rolled a melee attack. Uh, for you, that's going to be a d two d six plus four, dealing one d six range damage. So it's strength. It's at range. Tentacles have their own strength. So you're. With a plus four, it's pretty much guaranteed to hit. The rod has its own health, so if the tentacles get attacked, they can, in fact, get destroyed. Alright, what's well, the strength weapon? So I'm gonna give it to Kate. It's not a strength weapon. Oh, the tentacles themselves the have their own strength. Oh, okay. How, how much does it weigh? Uh, mark it down as three weight. So it's literally a rod that gives you 15 quid brain, range melee attack. But the roll for this, it's always going to be a 2d6 plus 4. Because it's not right. your strength, it's the tentacles doing all the work. Does anybody want to take the uh, medical kit or the yellow potion off me? Because I won't be able to carry it otherwise. I'll I would take... like... Sorry. I'll take the potion. That's a potion. Take it, you um, how much does the medical kit weigh? Two. Yeah, I'll take that. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> if on you think the uh, the tentacles will probably do a little better if you put them in put them on like an actual rod and like do other stuff, but what you have is the ingredients for it then. Right. Okay. Yep. But it's it's functional. Uh hello? Yeah. Hi. Okay. Uh roll call, is everyone here? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you heard that, right? So, yeah. Go. Oh, I actually go up one weight because I got strength as well, so I got extra room to carry something now. Okay, so uh, before we proceed, it's been about another hour. We're gonna take another five minute break. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Also, I'm gonna rip one of these teeth off if I can't get to the one that I broke off already. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Like this thing's already dead. You guys can, you guys can take your rest next to this creature and do your thing. All right. Okay. I'm taking a tooth. I'm gonna so, feed my cockroaches. That's totally fine. So we'll take care of like small stuff out, out of the game, and when we go back into combat or do something else, we'll hop back in. But for now, we're gonna take a five-minute break. If you're watching, thank you. Uh, we'll be back in five. <laughs>